And after a wet winter, firefighters expect a very active wildfire season, and it has definitely kicked off. One UNLV researcher says wildfires up in Kyle and Lee Canyon will continue to worsen until officials take action. Denise Spidel reports. When the Mount Charleston fire broke out, the response was immediate. Hundreds of firefighters, massive equipment, and timely evacuations. But according to UNLV ecologist Scott Abella, the mountain has been a ticking time bomb, one he's told Forest Service officials about for years. We've been, you know, really trying to, to convey the message since, since 2006 that it's not a question of, of if there's a fire like this up in the Spring Mountains. It's just a question of when. Non-native plant species are taking over, and humans have interfered with natural fire cycles. Enter Smokey the Bear and our impression that fire was bad, so we've stopped these fires, and it's enabled fuel to build up over the last 100 years or so. Now there's too much kindling to safely reintroduce controlled burns. Abella says he's been trying to convince Forest Service officials to thin the trees in Kyle and Lee Canyon, but bureaucracy and activism have prevailed. It's also very expensive to do this kind of, of thinning, um, especially in a place like Las Vegas where there is no market for wood. Um, but they're, over the long run, it's, it's probably much cheaper for taxpayers to go ahead and be proactive than to keep spending all this money on fire suppression. Just how much is being spent? The Forest Service alone is spending over 50% of its budget on fire suppression. So far, that suppression has prevented any major disaster, but Abella is concerned that, too, could be imminent. A place like Kyle Canyon has one way in and one way out. And so, you know, for residents that are living up there, for people that are doing recreation up there, if there is one of these fires that breaks out, you know, it could be very, very dangerous or fatal to people, you know, not to mention the huge damage it's doing to the ecosystem. Abella says he hopes this fire starts a new dialogue about prevention instead of reaction. Denise Spidel, News 3. The uh, Forest Service told us today crews have started some fuel reduction treatments, which means they thin out the trees 300 feet from homes and access roads. They're working on doing this at Lee Canyon right now and Kyle Canyon next year.